Well, hello there, YouTube. It appears you've stumbled upon my little YouTube channel known as the Expanded Idea. And of course, today we are playing Pokemon Fire Red on this fine, fine Monday day. And I was alerted by somebody in the comments um, a few days ago that I actually missed something quite important to our journey. This dude will actually give you a free Lapras just for talking to him. So that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and talk to this dude. So do you want a nickname? Yeah, we do actually. Um, sea Turtle. Yeah, that'll work. He kind of looks like a sea turtle. Okay. Um, or Loch Ness Monster. I think Sea Turtle's good. Sea. Space. Turtle. T U R T L E. Perfect. It just works. Alright. It's a Lapras. Blah, blah, blah. It's highly intelligent. Yeah, I know. Alright. I'm actually going to use an escape rope to get out of here because we have one. And why not? Alright, items. Escape rope. Alright. So now what we can do is we can actually go to the gym now because we've cleared out Team Rocket of this area. So let's go find the gym. And after we beat this gym, we're actually going to be um, closing in on the end of the game. We have two more gym battles and it's not going to be too difficult. Do we need to heal? Uh, yeah, we might as well. I'm going to go heal real quick. Be right back. Alright, so we're back in the gym, and I think I have a pretty general idea on how to get through this area. So first you want to go in here, and then just go up, and go down. So you pretty much just want to repeat this until you get close to this area. Um, and then go down again. Let's see here. And then I believe you go here. Yep, there we go. Okay, so it's just kind of a guessing game. And then after you get to this gym battle, you're ready to go. And by the way, if you noticed before, my party of Pokemon is still like all level 25. I'm gonna get those guys up maybe in the, um, the area when I'm not making a video. Like, I'll just do it off camera. Because uh, it's gonna take a while and I think I'll get them all to like level 40. And uh, this girl just has all psychic type Pokemon, so you can go ahead and just throw some flames at it. Should be uh, a pretty easy battle for the most part. So, yeah. Just a mime. Flamethrower is pretty much our best um, tactic to getting rid of these guys. So, yeah. Alright, blah blah blah. Venomoth, that'll of course be uh, weak to our flamethrower. And I'm trying to think of other moves that we should have before we go to the Elite Four, which is going to be coming up pretty soon. Um, I'm going to be making uh, two Pokemon Fire Red videos this week, because last week I made um, two Mario Superstar Saga. So that's just a heads up for that. Quite an easy battle, and now we're at level 53 after we get rid of this guy. And there we go, level 53. Alright. Defeat Alita Sabrina. Alright, blah blah blah, you get the badge and money. Okay, levels you obey him up to level 70, just don't raise him. Okay, blah blah blah. Uh, what do we get? What TM is this? Uh. Didn't even say what it was. Oh well. Here, I'm gonna get out of this gym real quick, and then I'll show you what we're gonna do next. Be back then. Alright, so I flew to Fuchsia City, and in addition, I also bought some Max Repels, because we're gonna be going to the Safari Zone today, but we are not going there to catch Pokemon, of course. Uh, I wish. Um, what we are doing is we're just going to the Safari Zone, because we are going to go ahead and, uh, oops, that's not the right one. It said it was the Safari Zone. Oh well. Uh, we're going to the Safari Zone because we're going to be getting HM Surf and HM Strength, which you need pretty much. I mean, they're very important, and we need them in order to go to Cinnabar Island. So we're going to go ahead and obtain those. I'm surprised I didn't actually get them before. So we're going to go ahead and go in here. going to pay the money. All right. We don't need any of those. We're going to um, get a Pokemon. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn on a max repel so that we can just run through this really quickly 
because you have a limited number of steps. Oops, my bad. Alright, you have a limited number of steps here, so you need to use them wisely. Because otherwise you will run out, and it won't be very fun, because you'll have to redo all of this again. So you just want to run through this very quickly. And it's not too hard. Uh, I just memorized a uh, map I saw, and that's all you need to do. Rememorized. <laughs> I'm gonna make that a word. So it's not too hard to just run through this. Doesn't take a whole lot of time. Just gotta go quick. And there's a few TMs around here. Oh darn it. That's what I didn't want to happen. As soon as I take my first step, wild Pokemon appears. I'll run away. Okay. So now we're actually at the end. Go ahead and go down. We're gonna go ahead and get these gold teeth. And we're gonna go ahead and get... HM Surf, which is in here. Talk to this guy, he's like, you're the first person to reach the secret house. Blah, blah, blah. You get the prize, you get HM3. Alright, HM3 is Surf, okay. Alright, so now we have both of the things we need. So I'm actually going to go ahead and pause the video, and when I've run out of steps, I'll come back. See you guys then. Alright, so I went ahead and got out of the Safari Zone. So now we are ready to go get some, um, uh, not get some, we're gonna go ahead and return those gold teeth. Did you remember that item I picked up right before, uh, we got Surf? That was the gold teeth, and those are for the Warden, uh, cause apparently he lost them at some point. There's actually a sign there that said, um, if you find the gold teeth, return them to the Warden. So what you can go ahead and do is go in here, and you'll find the Warden, and you'll be like, oh, here's the gold teeth, and he'll be like, Oh, thank you, son, blah, 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 thank you so much. Alright. And you'll get HM04, which we, um, is actually strength. And there's a rare candy over here if you actually want it, but I'm not going to get it. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Pallet Town, and I think you guys know what's going to happen next. So see you guys then. Alright, so now we're at Pallet Town, so what we're actually going to do is we're going to use our HM... Uh, surf and we're gonna go ahead and use it on everything that can use it because it's a very powerful move So we're gonna teach it to Carpe Diem and we're gonna make it forget uh, tackle Because we can Well, actually I probably could have gotten rid of splash, but oh well tackles pretty useless as well We'll find another move to replace um, uh, Splash and I think that we'll teach it to some other Pokemon later um, such as Lapras of course Alright, so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is also, I'm going to take a Max Repel. This is another reason why I got a lot of them, so that we could just surf across this ocean fairly quickly. We may encounter some trainers, but I'll try my best to avoid them, because I don't really feel like encountering some trainers. Not very fun. Experience. Ooh, bah, did not mean to do that. There we go. Okay. No! Okay, let me go fight this guy real quick. Alright, so I'm back. And in that battle, Charizard actually got poisoned. So, I'm gonna be careful here. And we're actually already here. So now we can go heal. Alright. So now let's go over here and get a quick heal. Make sure we don't get poisoned too much. Alright. So, um... In Cinnabar Island, there's a few things that we have to do. Um, there's the Pokemon Mansion. <clears throat> sorry. There's the Pokemon Mansion, and of course there's the gym. I'm not really sure what this is. Oh, that's the lab. So, um, first of all, I believe Cinnabar Island's not open. Yeah, the door is locked. And there's a key or something, I'm not entirely sure. So I'm going to find what we have to do in this area. So, I'll be back then. Alright, so now I know our whole battle plan on what we're going to be doing in this town. So first you're going to want to go in here because we have an opportunity to get more Pokemon. And as always, that is a very good thing. So what we're going to want to do is go in here. Going to want to talk to this professor because he has something interesting for us. He's like, I'm an important doctor. Yes, yes. Yes, give him the Helix Fossil. Because we are going to get more Pokemon. We're going to get an Omnitite, which is a pretty good Pokemon, actually. So... 
we're going to have an opportunity to have a pretty good Pokemon. He says to walk around a little bit, so we'll walk around. Then we'll come back. Oh, we have to walk more. Alright, so let's do a little lap around this area, and maybe he'll say we can come. Are you going to let us have it yet? Alright, well, we'll exit the room, and maybe he'll let us have it. Okay. And... Give it... Stop. Okay, there you go. Your fossil is brought to life. You received the Omni Knight from the doctor. Alright, no. So now, we actually have another Pokemon. But this one is a noob. Look at how low-leveled it is. But we're gonna train it up, because this can be a very powerful Pokemon. It has, um a potential to be. So, that is another Pokemon on our team, and now we have all six Pokemon. So, uh, that's a pretty good thing. And as for the mansion, where we are going to get all of our uh, keys in order for us to go into the Cinnabar Gym place, um, we are just going to enter in, and there's a little puzzle type thing. This place is kind of destroyed, as you can see. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to uh, put on a repel, because I don't feel like fighting Pokemon today. Okay. Alright. So what you're going to want to do is just go over here. And we go up this. And then you're going to want to run around. And go up this staircase. And turn on this guy. Yes, press it. Who wouldn't? I don't know. Okay. And then you want to drop down here. And you fall. <laughs> Alright, then you can just run around this guy. You can pick up this, which is a Carbos, I guess. Uh, not very useful, but whatever. Then you can go in this area in the Pokemon Mansion. And here there's just a guy. Um, you can go ahead and press this, which um, turns on the secret switch. can exit through here. Go, in, go over here, and you'll actually find a full restore, which of course is pretty good. Um, and I want to find an exit here, which is right here. No! <laughs> it happened again! As soon as I turn off Repel. Ooh, Growlithe. Wish I could catch that. Alright. Oh, please, with your effects. There. Okay. And you just want to run around this professor. And do not turn on that statue yet. Ugh. I guess I might as well turn on Repel. And it's a useless Raticate. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on another Repel because I don't feel like dealing with Pokemon battles. Alright, gonna wanna go over here. And look! You'll find an HTM14 Blizzard, which is a very good move. An accurate, but very good move. Okay. Secret Switch? Yes, press it. Who wouldn't? I don't know. Alright. And then if you run over here, Look what you'll find. You'll find a secret key, which is what we need to get into the gym. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and get out of this place. Be back then. Alright, so now we're actually ready to fight uh, Blaine, or whatever his name is. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to switch Sea Turtle into the front slot, because we can. And I'm also going to give him a Quick Claw. And Quick Claw is one of those things that helps you move first. I believe so. Yes, maybe I will strike first. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, give. Yes, we'll give Lapras the Quick Claw. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and go in here. And we are ready to go up against Blaine. And in this area, we actually have to fight these people. So I'm going to go ahead and take all these people out, and then we'll have a clear path to go. So let's do that. Alright, so Lapras actually held its own pretty well against all these uh, trainers, so I went ahead and healed up our team. We're actually going to use Flamey for this fight, even though there's not really a type advantage. I just don't really think Lapras is ready for the RK9. So what I'm going to do is I'm mostly just going to use Fly. That should be fairly effective. Uh, it, I would say Blaine's most powerful move is Fire Blast, and it's still not really that big of a deal. Um, it's fairly... Um, low power against a fire type. against Even against a water type, though it's kind of powerful. But anyway, go ahead and use fly. Should take down most of the HP. Or all of it, but... Alright. 
So I'm thinking maybe I should get a new microphone pretty soon, like, even though I know my microphone sounds really good in general, um, I think my main issue is that in the background you can hear the clicking of my, um, uh, what's it called, controller. So that kind of is an issue, as it's kind of annoying to hear this little clicking in the background. So I'm considering getting a new controller, or a new microphone. The blue snowball microphone I heard won't pick up all those clicking noises. That's definitely an option. Come on. What? Why isn't Flamey flying? You need to fly like a bird. There you go. Issue with fly is that it could get paralyzed in midair. There we go. Finally used it. Oh, wow. Didn't kill it. I guess we'll just use wing attack. There we go. That'll take it down. And we'll get leveled up. Hopefully it'll be no longer paralyzed, but I kind of doubt it. Trying to use Dragon Rage. Ooh. Okay, uh... Hmm. See, what is this? The foe... 42 HP. I don't think I actually... I mean, I heard this is a good move, but... Um... Struck with a large imposing wings. Okay, let's give it a try. Let's get a rid of winning it. Wing attack. It will wing it. We'll see if it's a good move. Oops. Okay. I think it'll be okay. Rapid dash. Um. All right. So let's try using this dragon rage move. Yay! It missed. Okay. What? Why can't we move? That's ridiculous. All right. Now we're gonna get hit with this full force. It's not really that bad, though. Yeah, it's not the most powerful move in the world, I guess. Ooh. Okay, so this is looking a little bad. I'm not sure how I like this. We'll fly up in the air just to avoid getting hit again. And we can't move. Alright, so... Uh, I'm trying to think here. Yeah, let's just use the full restore we got, because then we'll at least have um, Paralyzed gone away. So I guess it was pretty useful that I got that. And we'll just get hit with another Fire Blast. And I'll go ahead and fly. Oops. Yeah, might as well fly. That should be good. Alright. There we go. Now it still doesn't take it out. And we're gonna get trapped. Yep, trapped in the vortex. Okay. I'm gonna use cut. Oh, darn it. <sighs> okay. That was not good. <laughs> That's not gonna do a whole lot. Hurt by fire spin. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and use fly. Luckily, we're pretty fast in general. A lot faster than rapid dash, I believe. There we go. Ugh, almost. Um, might as well use flamethrower. Again? Just gonna use up all of your hyper potions, huh? Whatever. This is being a bit annoying here. We'll fly though. This will make it so we completely evade the attack. And this will also take out Rapidash. Just like that. And now, Blaine should be out of Hyper Potions. Unless he has a full restore in his belt, which is a possibility. This RK9 is a fairly powerful Pokemon, um, so we do have to be careful. Uh, it's actually close to our level. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just use Fly. Should take it down at least... Ooh. This thing is a lot more powerful than I thought. I'm just gonna fly, and if I can, I'll try to switch out, maybe. Hmm. At least it's halfway dead. Um, I guess we're gonna have to switch out. Yeah, we're gonna have to switch out now. Okay. So... This is risky, I'll admit. 
This is a very risky procedure. I'm going to switch to Carpe Diem. And I'm going to head... And it's going to use Fire Blast, but it will miss, luckily. I'm going to go ahead and use Surf. Take down. Ooh, that's going to be a rough hit. Come on. Do it, Surf. Yes, yes, yes. Ah. Darn it. Okay. Yeah, now we need to switch out. Um, switch to Sea Turtle. It's going to do a takedown. It's going to be a rough hit. Not as rough as I thought, though. Going to go ahead and use Surf. And that's going to end it. Come on. Yes! We did it. <laughs> wow, that was close. We were not ready for that battle. Oh well, we did it. <laughs> Took down Blaine. You got the Volcano Badge. Alright. Take this too. What is this? Is this Fire Blast? Yep, Fire Blast. We're definitely going to be teaching that to Flamey. So, that's it for this video. I, th I think we got quite a bit accomplished today. So I think we're going to call it off for today. Um, but I hope to see you guys tomorrow with another video. And we are going to do the last gym battle. See you guys then. Bye-bye.